Hello everyone, I'm Igor and today we'll be talking about uh, how to build a workflow when you have your uh, upload care uploader in a webflow form and then you use uh, make to have an automatization which puts your uh, puts your image inside of a CMS collection uh, in the photo field and uh, it just not only puts the image there, but also optimizes the image in a, into a WebP format and also resize it to be the size which you actually want it to be uh, on your uh, website. So, uh, first of all, um, let's go into my um, make setup. So, uh, what I have here is I have a webhook. Uh, I'm watching events from Webflow uh, for uh, form submissions. So, uh, if, if you watched my previous tutorial where I explained how we built this uh, uploader in for Webflow forms using Upload Care, uh, you probably know how it works. And if you haven't watched that, please go and uh, watch it first. So uh, after you implement the uploader here on your website, you'll be able to have um, to have your images uh, in your, let's say like I would choose this image, uh, to have your images uploaded in a form. And uh, as I also explained in the previous tutorial, we are going to have the UID and the uh, CDN URL of your image uh, inside of uh, your form uh, as like fields to be submitted. Uh, so we really need it, like we need uh, this UID, which we'll be using for uh, kind of like delivering the message, uh, delivering the photos into our CMS uh, in optimized format. So I will uh, press this like run once. So I'll be listening to a webhook, and I will send the data. So this is my form, and this is what I get from my uh, for my form. So I get my UID and I get a URL of my picture so you can access this URL and you will see that you actually have this picture here and uh, we also have it uh, here oh, somebody actually uploaded uh, some picture in my uh, in my clonable project but uh, this is basically the picture which I uh, want to have and you can see it's like it's really huge so it's uh, almost like 4000 uh, pixels in uh, width and uh, like two two thousand five hundred in uh, uh, height. So and it's kind of like heavy, right? So like if we put it in JPEG format and like if we put it in our CMS, it's going to be like quite heavy uh, image for our CMS. So what we are going to do is um, we are going to actually have one more uh, step here. We, we are going to create an item in my. Uh, uh, and uh, I have my website here and I have my collection of photos and I need to put some name um, let's say this time I will just put my UID here and uh, to put a photo inside of uh, the flow CMS I need to actually put a valid URL here inside right uh, but if I just like put this URL, so this huge image will go inside of uh, my uh, CMS and it's not really good for performance of our website. So uh, what I'm going to do is I will go to documentation of Upload Care and uh, we have this like optimization here. So we have like image optimization and you can actually change the format. So we are going to change the format of the image into WebP because it's uh, supported by Webflow. And we are also going to uh, resize, resize the image. And it's very, very simple to do uh, with uh, Upload Care. So first of all, I will copy uh, this URL and I will put it uh, inside of my make. Like I will put it here. Uh, here in UID, I will actually put the UID which I got from uh, Upload Care. Then uh, here in the format, it will not be auto, but we will be making it WebP. So I want to get the image in WebP format and um, I don't have anything like about the quality, but I want to resize the image. So I go to resize and uh, here we kind of like can have it as a, let me see this one, right? So we can write this like resize it will go instead of this quality 
and after the resize we have like uh, one or two dimensions so I only want to adjust like one dimension I want to adjust the width of my uh, of my um, image so I need to make it like a slash and then put like 1024 and X so this is what I'm going to do so I have like resize here so my instead of this thing I go to 1024 X okay we can also put some alternate text here like let's say I will put my UID and um, Slack will be generated automatically so this is it and uh, uh, this is the setup and now let's run this again and have one more file uploaded so this time I will upload actually I will upload the same thing um, because like, it's, it's huge right I mean, yeah this is my file and uh, we have it running here so when I submit this form the automation will put this item in my CMS here so I will be able to see one more uh, item here so uh, let's go and submit it done and we have everything done here let's go into webflow but actually go, before going to webflow I want to see this uh, uploaded here again on my uh, project so you can see like uh, this is the new one so in uh, we, can, we can also see like this is the UID uh, finishes with like ED3 basically this is it so it's huge as we expected and now we go into CMS and I see what I got inside of my CMS collection so what I got here is I got very light 8.3 kilobyte image and it's like 1024 uh, pixels in width so and it's like in WebP format so it's like very very light and uh, very well optimized for your website to have it on the web so next time when you build uh, this kind of like workflow when you need to have some uh, data uh, so you, when you when you need user to submit some photo or like image on your website and you're afraid of like they can submit really huge images and they will uh, you can use this method you can optimize on the, like on the fly you can optimize your image and have it like in WebP format, have it like resized and keep your uh, CMS data very light and easy to be delivered to your users. So this is it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, yeah, please subscribe, uh, please make a like, like share, uh, tell your friends and use this uh, uh, feature use this uh, this tutorial to build really lightweight uh, CMS images. <laughs> yeah, okay, thanks. Bye.